What's up guys, Mallor here, and I'm gonna be showing you some of the monk class and like all most of the abilities and the way I use the monk and um how I don't die um too much. I do die sometimes. But uh, a lot of people have been like I heard a lot of my real life friends actually been dying a lot. Like in um Nightmare, they were like saying it's like unsolvable. Like you need a person there basically to help you the whole time. But I actually you cannot mean to been going the through again. the nightmare mode by myself, and I haven't had any problems. Um, but uh, about the abilities I use, I use uh, Hunter Ray of the Fist. I usually I do use Deadly Reach until you get uh, Way of the Fist. So. Uh, Fist of Thunder, I'm gonna use that first, but uh, Ways of the Hundred Fist is probably the most, probably the better ability to use, in my opinion. Deadly Reach helps, because you're kind of range. I mean, it's kind of like f six yards, you can hit people, which helps a lot. Um, yeah, I just like the Hundred uh, Ways of Fist, mainly because it's so quick. And this thing stacks when you crit, gives you movement speed and attack speed, which helps too. Um, my right click, I use wa uh, Wave of Light. I did use the Lashing Tail Kick. I really haven't used it since I've gotten any of the new ruins yet. Um, but Tempest Rush is, uh, I mean, I mean, I think it's useless. I mean, it looks extremely funny, mainly because you're running around spinning spinning a staff and you slow enemies you knock you can go through anything it's pretty funny um i use the wave of light it's the bell and uh basically there's two different i have two runes the one the basic rune you hit an extra time this is the normal bell it hits people in front of you is basically what it is but i i have it ruined where it does explosive light does burst all around me and it helps great with AoE so it's like not only in front of me but it's all over the place it's everywhere it's great AoE I actually absolutely love that ability um, for uh, my number one key I use um, Breath of Heaven I use Sentry yeah you come immune for three seconds it helped 10 20 second cooldown it's the only thing I don't like about it the spirit it's nice but 20 second cooldown, that's a long cooldown. Inner Sanctum, once again, 30 spear, 20 second cooldown. You, yeah, people cannot enter a circle, which helps for, um, if you're in a party or whatever. Blinding Flash, blinds on enemies, I mean, I don't know. I used it once, and I was just like, I didn't like it. I never used it, actually, again, after I, I didn't like it. So, um, with Brother Heaven, the runes I use, this thing increases your your uh, damage whenever you heal yourself or heal anyone really whenever you use the ability to increase your damage I think it's um, 15% which ain't bad and he heals me for about about 13k in the middle not 13k 1300 so I mean I have 2300 so he heals me about halfway which ain't bad for a heal considering most of these abilities are not, not really necessarily useless but I mean I prefer not to use them <laughs> Um, for my number two key, Sweeping Wind, Dashing Strike, we'll talk about Dashing Strike first. This is, um, it helps kind of saving your friends. You can dash anywhere as long as an enemy is on your cursor. You can, like, it's kind of like the Barbarian's Leap they have, uh, we can go anywhere where their cursor's at. Well, this is basically the same thing, but you need an enemy, obviously. Um, the runes for this, I, oh, I haven't even tried that out yet, but, um, you kick, you stun, increase movement speed after you strike an enemy, which helps. Um, explosive palm. Yeah. I mean, I used it once just to see how big the AoE was. And it did pretty good damage, but I ain't too fond of it, really. Uh, I use sweeping wind, which it, yeah, it is a lot of spirit. 75 spirit, but it stacks. It gives you, here, read it. Deals 15 weapon damage to all enemies nearby within 10 seconds. Every time you hit somebody, it refreshes it, so you just have to constantly be hitting people, which is... helps. Um, stacks three times. It doesn't say that. 
up to two times, but it says three, doing a 45 weapon damage to nearby enemies. Uh, landing a crit, obviously. And then I got the Blade Storm, which increases the damage. Stack 20% weapon damage. So far, so forth. Um, I use this thing before I go in. I usually highly rarely get stacks. I have crappy crit. I need to get more. But other than that, whenever I get three stacks, I like I melt enemies. They come into my little aura, and they basically just die instantly. It's kind of it's pretty funny. I actually do like that ability a lot. But, but it's just the spirit's too much. 75 spirit. That's a lot of spirit. Um, for number three, I use seven side strike. It's basically I can teleport any to a target and it's like a multiple strikes here let's see if I can even use it so like I come untargetable is the thing that's the thing I like about it I hit a I hit everyone around me most of the people around me not everyone and I'm untargetable they can't they can't hit me so that helps a lot and the other ability is let's wait for the cooldown I hate that you can't even look at it, any of them when it's going to cool down <laughs> okay. Um, Cyclone Strike uh, pulls everything uh, to you. It was um, I like to use it. I was dude, I was leveling with the Witch Doctor earlier, and he'd just send in his dogs, and I would suck everyone in. He'd blow up the dogs, and I would use my bell, which was great AOE. We basically killed everything, but. I ended up dying a lot more using that just because they were right in front of me. I sucked them in and they were just right in front of my face. So I actually stopped using that. But, um, Ray's ally to fight with you. Yeah, it's not bad. Um, it did, it actually does pretty much, does pretty good damage. I don't know if it's like, yeah, 40 of my weapon damage per swing. That ain't bad. Um, you can get different things, water, oh, earth, water, fire, all that, all that elemental stuff, um, yeah, I just prefer not to use it, but, uh, yeah, I use the seven-sided strike, which, um, helps with my next ability, why I use it so much, um, these are, like, poly ores, like, in, just like in WoW, if many WoW players are watching, um, evasion, increase your dodge, and you can get, you get ruined, where, it gives you armor, and it gives you, like, a shield, if you take enough damage, it gives you shield and protects you, which, that helps. I used that for the longest time. Red, they take damage when they hit you. Basically, just like in, just like a poly. I used the healing one, which helps increase health regeneration. It does a lot. It does three seconds when I activate it. 242 health per second, life per second. So that's about... Seven, eight hundred life in three seconds, and the regeneration gives me sixty-one life per second. That's, I mean, I, I love it. That's awesome, and I heal every, and it heals everyone around me too for that much too when I do activate it. I haven't used the, uh, I haven't used this one yet. Let's see, increase the damage taken by near my enemies. Ah, uh, that's not that bad. Uh, 12 yards, 12% 12 additional damage, eh. Activation, you do 24. I'll probably wait until I get a glyph, to, I mean, a glyph, ruin to try it out. But yeah, I use the healing one for now. Um, as well as passives, um, I use spirit by 100 because it, they only give you 150 spirit. So I got 250 now, which helps out a lot. That's probably one of the best ones you can get. Or use actually. Um, increase your dodge chance equal to equal 30% of your uh, critical strike chance. I don't have much, but anything a little helps. There's not like too much. Dueling 15 dodge uh, armor 100% of your dexterity, which helps. I actually have a lot of dexterity. 582, and I'm 34. So I mean, ain't that bad. Um, movement speed by 10%. Eh. I don't know if this is like has a GCD or anything. Damage you deal reduces enemy damage. 25, 2.5 seconds. That ain't bad, but I, I use the. This is a, increases the duration on the aura for uh, increases it by seven, but I think it lasts 10 minutes. Yeah, 10 minutes fully buff. 
and it gives me two spirit every second. So, I mean, I constantly have spirit. I usually get have full spirit when I go into combat most of the time, so it helps. But yeah, that's it for the passive. That's what I use. Um, between the healing aura and the heal I use and my potions, I have three heals, so I can sustain a lot. And I will show you right here, mainly because I haven't really got far into Nightmare. So really this, I'm not into like a, a bunch of mobs, but here is a bunch of mobs where I can just like beat the shit out of. And I really don't die because the war just heals me enough with it activated. And I can do seven side strike and I can live. And I can do my bell. I mean... That's just how stupid it is. And if I get low enough, I'll heal. But as you can see, it just, it keeps me up. It's really dumb. Like, I've actually had somebody complain that they've died on this part. I had to come in and help them. Because they were dying so much on that. And it's like... I mean, I've stayed alive. <laughs> it's really dumb. I mean, I... I'm glad I rolled a monk. <laughs> but, um... Anyways, if you guys enjoyed, that was my like, kind of like walkthrough of what I think of the monk or how I play it. Um, I absolutely love the monk. If you haven't played the monk or in beta or whatever, try it out. It is an awesome class. Um, that'll wrap it up for this video. Uh, be sure to like, favorite, subscribe, all that good jazz, comment, yeah, any questions? I'm usually... I check my phone constantly, I got it on my email my phone, so I constantly get comments. So, I mean, I'll answer them relatively quickly. Um, that I wrap it up for this video. Uh, I'll be posting a lot more videos. See you later.